Well, yeah, that's exactly what it has to do with. This goes back to the city's financial crisis and the mayor's solution to fix that financial crisis. Of course, he's announced that there are going to be lots of job cuts, 1,000 job cuts if he has his way. That, of course, could mean job cuts to the police department. So as a show of solidarity, several officers, 17 of the 25 officers from the Northeastern District decided that they were going to put their foot down. They decided that they were sick, allegedly. They called in sick or they decided to go home sick. And as a result, they put the citizens, possibly put the citizens of Detroit in harm's way or otherwise other officers. That's a huge problem in any city. But in Detroit, that is a tremendous problem. And so the chief of police, he's got to say something about this. He was, of course, a patrol officer himself. And he knows that the officers are frustrated as a result of these rumors that as many as 300 officers, maybe even more, will be laid off as a result of the city's budget problems, but he says, regardless of that, you just can't walk out on the job. And so he had to do something, and so he uh, put several of those officers on suspension. I didn't want to be the one who was at home, and I left one of my partners vulnerable, or if there was an officer in trouble, and I could have been there to help that officer out. I didn't want to abandon a citizen who might have need my, needed my help. And so those officers have been suspended, but it's not over right there. There's a lawyer who represents the police union, and he says these suspensions may have violated the officers' contracts. And so they're looking into that. At this point, I do believe the officers are suspended with pay. And so if the suspension is reversed, I don't know if they get more money. As a result, that, that's still up in the air right now. But at this point, the officers have been suspended as a result of getting sick. We'll see where this all ends as we continue to follow this story. It will, of course, continue to develop as the budget crisis continues to develop. Right now, that is the very latest from right outside the police headquarters in Detroit. Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.